so guys we were talking about the tertiary amines okay so we have already discussed the tertiary amines we will study some new drugs that can be used for treatment in the tertiary amines okay some new drugs so we talked about the urinary incontinence right so we talked about the flavoxate the other drugs so we have some drugs called tolteridone dari phenacin dari phenacin these are selective m3 blocker selective so in urinary bladder we have the m3 receptor they block so they will reduce the side effect so these are used for urinary incontinence urinary incontinence the other drugs that we commonly use nowadays the ipratropium ipra tropium bromide and the thiotropium we are talking about the cholino blockers okay you remember from the last video understand we are talking about the cholino blockers now i am discussing some new drugs that is discovered recently you might have heard about ipratropium and thiotropium ipratropium is a good m3 blocker or m2 blocker so they are mainly on m3 in the bronchus you remember thiotropium so they are used for our copd chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases in uh, lung diseases we can use what ipratropium and thiotropium clear now there are some other drugs so you remember the drug induced drug induced parkinson for parkinson disease that is induced by drug we can use the drug trihexphenidine it is also called benzhexol you can use bipiridine trihexphenidine bipiridine benzotropin and procycline benzotropin and procycline so these are the drug that can be used for what drug induced parkinson drug induced parkinson disease clear everyone now next thing is we said about dicyclomine dicyclomine is also a dicyclomine this is also a cholino blocker this is used as a anti spasmodic drug anti spasmodic is a recently discovered then we have you remember the tropicamide tropicamide is anti mitriatic tropicamide is the shortest tropicamide shortest acting anti mitriatic drug then we have homotropin homotropin is also mitriatic drug but is longest acting longest acting mitriatic drug not anti mitriatic we are studying about cholino blocker so we are blocking what parasympathetic system if you block parasympathetic system you will have what mitriasis so acting you remember mitriatic vesicoselective so this longest acting mitriatic this is shortest acting some other drugs include cyclopendolate cyclopendolate this all are cholino blocker this is also a mitriatic agent very good and mitriatic agent and they will give you cycloplegia effect also cycloplegia effect also so these are all about cholino blockers or which block the parasympathetic system we study the classification we study how they works what are the importance of different drugs clear now we will move to the important topics that is we are forgetting our parasympathetic now we will go to sympathetic we will study cholino mimetic sorry adreno mimetic or sympathomimetic how you that drug act on sympathetic system clear everyone